Just a little bit special. What up, Brahims? It's faster. Faster long, Palo. Back with another video for you. And this one's going to be about the Carrie Prejean controversy. The Carrie Prejean controversy continues when she found out indirectly through media sources that she was going to be getting the axe. That is, the Miss Universe pageant was revoking her title as Miss California. Controversial beauty queen Carrie Prejean has been dethroned as Miss California USA. The pageant says the decision based solely on contract violations. She grabbed headlines in April when she declared her opposition to same-sex marriage. It is unclear exactly why she was losing her crown. Officially, the pageant claims that she was being fired because of failure to meet certain public appearances. One of these suggested appearances was to attend a gay movie premiere, perhaps suggested for her to gain favor with the homosexual community, which she had offended by her answer to a pageant question in which she stated her personal belief was that marriage should remain a union between a man and a woman. Although to sugarcoat her answer any more than she already did would have been a physical impossibility, gays and people in support of legalization of same-sex marriage were outraged, sparking thousands of hate blogs and anger videos condemning her for her statement within hours of the pageant's television broadcast. These included a series of rants by celebrity blogger Perez Hilton, so juvenile they could only have been made by the man who makes a living gossiping like a 12-year-old girl. What a fucking bitch. It is speculated by some that it was this Perez Hilton controversy, and not anything related to her performance as Miss California, that ultimately led to her dismissal. Now, what's ironic is that the runner-up Miss Callie, Tammy Farrell, who has now replaced Carrie Prejean, holds the same views as her predecessor. She states in one of her first live interviews as the new Miss California. What's your view on same-sex mm -hmm. marriage? I don't, that's not something that I want to take a stance on. I think that we let the voters decide. So if the voters of California have said no to it, you support that? Is that what you're saying? You say that, we, that there should be no same-sex marriage? I'm saying that I support everybody having the right to say their own opinions. I'm not saying that I'm right or I'm with them or against them. I'm just saying that I want to come in right And wanting anything but to create the same shitstorm ex-title holder Carrie did, she goes on to say, I just think it's hilarious. I just keep going back to this. The fact that the world is asking beauty queens the answers to a political question. Now, I don't personally have a strong opinion on this issue. That is, I don't particularly support nor fervently oppose legalizing same-sex marriage. What I can't stand, though, is the ignorance and the double standard with which the situation is treated. I respect your opinion, even if I don't hold the same view. If you want to debate, that's awesome. If you can make some legitimate points in favor of same-sex marriage, for instance, one, the times have changed since marriage laws were first created. Therefore, the laws should be changed or amended to keep with the times and the current values in today's society. Two, legalizing gay marriage would be good for the economy. For example, a boost in the floundering housing market due to newly married gay couples wanting to buy homes, buy vehicles, extravagant weddings, ceremonies, etc. Three, gay marriage may increase adoption rates, placing many children in two-parent homes instead of single mother or foster care scenarios. This would most certainly be a good thing, since it would a lighten up the staggering welfare bill, and b it would also lead to a decrease in crime, as children in single mother homes are about ten times more likely to commit crimes, to use illegal drugs, to run away from home, to commit suicide, to do time in prison, or to become single parents themselves, etc, etc, etc. What I don't respect at all is the way most people can't seem to do this, that is, have a legitimate conversation or debate. Their only response to a person who isn't in favor of same-sex marriage is to kick and scream and recite the same pithy little lines and one-size-fits-all overgeneralization. Their absolute inability to put together a single cohesive argument and rabid attacks towards anyone who doesn't share the same views as them is a complete hypocrisy because they are perpetuating the same narrow-minded intolerance which they cite as the primary criticism against their opposition. I do feel bad for Carrie Prejean. 
because I do not feel she in any way brought this upon herself. She didn't use hurtful or bigotous slurs. She didn't even suggest that what they do is wrong or displeases her. All she did was sincerely and respectfully state her own personal view on the issue of same-sex marriage, a view which happens to be shared by the President of the United States, the Vice President, House Speaker, as well as a slight majority of the American population in general, including that of California, the state she was representing, which had just recently passed a bill upholding the ban on same-sex marriage by a public vote. Also, we know little about this new Miss California, other than that she too apparently hates gays, that is, she admits in an interview that she holds the same views as Carrie Prejean, and that she's not nearly as good looking as her senior. So after all this ado about nothing, what really changed? We just got another bigot pageant queen who's just not quite as hot.